Hey boys and girls, I'm back again with another video. We're gonna continue where we left off with The Witcher 2. Without a further ado, let's get started. Same thing like The Witcher 3, guys. Chill out a little bit. Tris, you're the Tim's down a little bit. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kemble's in Count Marifel, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. Ha! <laughs> Humans! In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. Mm. I think I've heard enough about politics. Full test killer lay in wait in the tower where the lava lamps had hidden royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute, what were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest free his children, waited until I had walked off, and then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. Who did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Damn. Norman Scoyatel was waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of a murder. I need to clear my name. Oh! Besides, I looked him in the eye and oh! Oh! That's what Watch. happened in his flashback. Then some brave Tamerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Oh, that makes sense. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. Now we can see a little bit in this game, <laughs> you know. I remember the last episode and a previous, you know, a couple episodes back. This is now part five. It was a little dark. What the heck? Bro, she might mess you up, man. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. Sozek's alive, and nowhere near the depths. The monster's vanished without a trace. You best take us seriously, lest you vanish without a trace. All right, man. All right. 
What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Cairn. Cairn? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? To see it in all its splendor. And which of you is ready to help the sorceress fight the beast? Why us? Huge it is. Big as a mountain. Then why get angry at someone who's willing? Well, cause... We'll tend to the Cairn, the sorceress or I. Maybe we'll do it together. We'll draw it away from the port beforehand so as not to endanger the likes of you. Well, I hope you succeed. I've no preference for who does it, witch or witcher. Just kill the whore, son, and the whole town will be grateful. Okay. I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief Louis. person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. <laughs> My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Damn. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Oh, Triss, mm -hmm. how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Sheila. Covir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Cairn was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold, sharp as ever. You're thinking that? Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood. All those disgusting marvels we take from dying species to throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my, your sense of humor seems to be intact too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt, you saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Cairn emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. Did we just but see he knows quite a bit about the area the and its living wonders. Yeah, we need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witches' rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward. Pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there. On the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror house. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> oh my god. Go back this way, I believe. But what a disrespect that is. Oh. 
do you want? Heard you have a problem. Ah, uh, if only we had just one. Highways washed out, forests full of bandits, a river beast blocks the port, and tolls are to rise. Can't help with the tolls, but the monster's a possibility. A sorceress said the same, but we've yet to see any results. Excuse me? She's asked me to work with her. And who's to pay your wage? That's what I'm here to discuss. The sorceress was to manage a loan. You can split that reward if you wish. Oh, thank you. What a contract like that requires preparations. Costly preparations. You want an advance? I've but a handful of orange now, though it should buy you plenty of drink and a few hours of plowing. I was thinking of the potions we'll need. Now tell me what you know about the beast. You're the Witcher, damn it. I've no knowledge. Bro, of I still have to know. That what are you talking elf about, fam? Probably. I still got to know. <laughs> this dude's funny. Where can I find him? In the village outside the walls. Now leave me be. All right, fine. All right. Village outside the wall. Well, well, I had an inkling and it didn't disappoint me. It was a long voyage to this cesspit, but it's about to make sense. Old Test's killer, live and in person. How are you? Happy and healthy? Can't complain. I am delighted, really. But you see, it's a long way back to Vasima, and I'd rather not dawdle. I lost a load of time looking for you. No reason to waste any more talking, then. Bon voyage. Listen, Jester. You're worth more to me alive. But if need be, I will take you back as a corpse. You choose. All right. Give it a shot. Drop your sword and put your hands together, or I'll not vouch for what... Shut up. Go ahead. Try to kill me. with a fine. 
Bro, I'm just trying to fucking leave. That's all I'm trying to do. I paid the fine. That's disrespectful. What do you want? Heard you have a problem. Ah, if only we had just one. Highways washed out, forests full of bandits, a river beast blocks the port, and tolls are to rise. Can't help with the tolls, but the monster's a possibility. A sorceress said the same, but we've yet to see any results. She's asked me to work with her. And who's to pay your wage? That's what I'm here to discuss. The sorceress was to manage a loan. You can split that reward if you wish. A 
A contract like that requires preparations. Costly preparations. You want an advance? I've but a handful of orange now, though it should buy you plenty of drink and a few hours of plowing. I was thinking of the potions we'll need. Now tell me what you know about the beast. You're the witcher, damn it. I've no knowledge of these things. Who could tell me more? That plowing elf, Cedric, most probably. He's supposed to know all about monsters. Where can I find him? In the village, outside the walls. Now leave me be. Village outside the walls. Like, I mean, that's bullshit. You're gonna kill me for this? Like, please. I think the stew's ready. Outside the door. You might want to stir it. Outside the walls, okay. Here comes the witcher. Think you'll agree? No, I... I don't know. Should we just walk up and ask you about that? A word, if you will. You see, we've created an alchemical substance and we wish to test it in Vizima, in a laboratory. Seeing as you're a witcher, we wondered if you'd be willing to test it in practice. In a year or two, given the occasion, you could visit us in Vizima. We'd examine you and reward you generously. We need to study its long-term effects. We can't say more. Are you in? Why not? Splendid! Excellent! Now, if you could also keep a journal of the experiment... Don't overdo it. What do you want to prove with those swords? Everything in order? Wait, is it this one? Is he said outside the wall?
Where might you be going? Uh, what go. kind of question is that? There we go. I think we know where I can it. find an elf named Cedric. There we go. Your boy knows what he's doing. <laughs> like it. The merchants are paying good money for killing the beast. Coin is never the most important thing. Maybe, but it's still pretty useful. I don't trust her. Sheila? Why not? She's a powerful sorceress. Dangerous to her foes, even more dangerous to her friends. I know you don't like her. Any specific reason? I'm just trying to warn you. Thanks. I guess I'll have to ask her. How? We're going hunting together. Right after I find Cedric. Well, then let's go see him. He should be at the top of his observation tower. Dang! You the plug, Trish? Go, Trish. You're the plug. <laughs> Guys, you know, sometimes when I play video games, my head be racing to the point where I don't know what I'm doing. But here we are. <laughs> it's like uh, playing, uh, what? Control? Oh, that's weird. I'm just joking. shit joke that anyone's ever thought of. Plus, I've learned how to burp out the official title of the Emperor of Nilfgaard without reaching for beer. Shorty told me about his 16 children, all named after Temerian troop divisions, and I know his nickname has nothing to do with his manhood. Nice to know that you care, though. Glad to see you in a good mood. I think I actually like them. They're good people. One of them even proposed to me. Who's the brave man? Sorry, that's a secret. And here I thought Roach's boys had an ounce of respect for me. How's it living with Rip? Sp short night? Glad. I think. Who's the. <laughs> and here. Oh, I stopped there. My fault. Okay, let's go. Accidentally. in a day like this, Sarah. Enjoy the memory of her. Don't wallow in the long. I try. I do. But I cannot believe all the bad blood this disappearance has bred. Don't let other shade poison your memory of her. Hatred is but an outlet for helplessness. Thank you, Sarah. Buffet. Buffet. Are you Cedric? Who asks? Geralt of Rivia. Ah, the Witcher. And? Triss Marigold. Lovely scent, Triss. Cedric, look at me. What do you want, Geralt of Rivia? But I want tons of things. I aim to kill the king. Heard you might be able to help. That depends on the sort of aid you seek. I need information. We should have killed it years ago. No. No, I don't know. The beast has become too large for the riverbed, and it has strange growths on its tentacles, extremely thick skin. Previously, it inhabited a swamp along one of the Pontar's tributaries. Completely wild terrain. Even the Scoia'tael don't venture there. You should go see the wreck of the boat it recently sank. Inspect any traces it's left. See the destruction. Where's this wreck? Venture south into the forest, then turn east toward the river. You'll find the ruins of a bridge erected long ago by the Enche. The wreck lies at their foot. Thanks, Cedric. Greetings. You'll find me 
by the program. Change, Trish. Sure you're not overusing those telephones. Alright guys, we're going to stop right here. We'll be back to find the trace and hopefully kill that thing. But guys, if you like the video, smash the like button. And I'll see you with the next Witcher 2, The Assassin of Kings. Until then, peace out.